Whether you're running a window manager for the purposes of productivity or to just show off your epeen on r slash unix porn, you need to know how to configure your monitors in Xorg. And I actually have three monitors connected to my Gentoo box, as you may have inferred from my xrandar output. And this video is going to focus on that, what we would call a multi-head setup and how to configure it. Now, unless the GNU gods have bestowed their blessings upon you, chances are when you ran StartX for the first time on a multi-head setup, things were not configured correctly. All of your monitors probably didn't even come up, or if they did, they were probably out of order and very disorienting. Like, you might have noticed that when moving your mouse to the rightmost monitor, it might have all of a sudden popped up on the left side or something similar to that. Now, if you're using a full-blown desktop environment like XFCE, this is actually pretty easy to fix because desktop environments usually include some type of GUI program for you to set these things up. In XFCE's case, it's the XFCE display settings. Uh, you can just go into this and then you can move the monitors around like that and then click apply and that would fix it if you're using a desktop environment. But this doesn't work for a window manager setup like DWM. And even if it did, do you really think you could live with yourself configuring DWM in such a bloated way? I didn't think so. So let's go ahead and configure our monitors in the terminal like a real man. So the first thing to do if you're on Gentoo is to actually make sure that you have the Xenorama use flag enabled or at the very least don't have it disabled when you're emerging your packages. And you'll also want to make sure that the lib xinorama package itself gets emerged. It most likely would get emerged automatically, but if not, you'll just want to go ahead and manually do it because this is the package and use flag that actually makes multi-monitor possible in the first place. Now, the next thing to do is to get the names of your monitors. And you can do this with a simple xrandar like I did here, but as you can see, this output is a little bit verbose. It's showing us things like ports that aren't even connected right now, and all of this resolution info, all the different modes that we have, and we just don't need that stuff right now. So you could alternatively run xrandar with the list monitor switch. And this is just going to give us exactly what we need. It's going to give us the name of our displays and not really much else. Now, even this information might not be very helpful to you at first. You might not know off of the top of your head which display is which just by looking at the ports that they are using. I mean, who can really remember which monitor is using DisplayPort and which one is using HDMI? Only, the only one that I can remember is the DVI one since that one's analog and it's the only monitor that's different. I've got two HP monitors and I've got one Asus monitor. Uh, so what you might want to do, what can be pretty handy to basically figure out which one is which in your mind is to just change the resolution of one of them as a quick sanity check to figure out which monitor is being identified by these ports. So let's do xrandar output HDMI zero, and we'll do mode 640 by 480. Now, of course, you have to enter in a valid mode. So you could do xrandar again if you're not sure which modes are available and just look at them here. Um, if you're using a 16 by nine aspect ratio monitor like I am, chances are your modes are going to be 16 by nine aspect ratio. So we can do that, uh, enter the command, and then it's going to change the resolution. And um, from your perspective, this is going to look a little bit different than it does from mine. From your perspective, the whole desktop should be squished into the upper left-hand corner instead of just being really low res, but you get the idea. Uh, so let's go ahead and change that back. All right, so now that you've done that, you know that this HDMI zero, in my case, is the middle monitor. 
And then you can go ahead and do that for all of the other monitors that you have to figure out which is which. Um, like I said, I only need to do this for one because I already know that the leftmost one is DVI zero. Now I know the middle one is HDMI zero. And by process of elimination, I know that the rightmost monitor is going to be DisplayPort 1. Cool. So how do we order these in, well, a orderly fashion? Well, what we could do is, again, just using xrandar. So it's a pretty verbose command, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it. So we could do something like this, xrandar, uh, and then you see that the output is HDMI 0. And then we're using the mode 1920 by 1080. So we already did that. We know that that's going to set the middle monitor to full HD. And then we're specifying another output, DVI-D0, which is the one to the left of me. We're specifying the mode. And then, hey, look at that. We're specifying that it is left of HDMI 0. And then same idea with DisplayPort 1, except we're specifying that that is right of HDMI 0. So you could do that to just automatically set the resolutions of all your monitors and then put them all in the correct place that they need to be. Uh, you could also go ahead and add this, uh, put this very command right in your Exinit RC, which is one solution to automatically ordering your monitors whenever you do start X. But there's a more proper way to set this up than just manually entering the command or even doing it uh, inside of your Exinit RC. And that would be to edit your xorg.conf. So let's go ahead and vim into that just so that I can show you how I have mine set up. And of course, if you need to edit this, you're going to want to vim into it or open with whatever text editor as root. So if we go down to the monitor section, uh, this is where we're going to be specifying all the different monitors. And you can see how I have this set up. It's the same idea as what we were doing on the terminal, really. So we've got the identifier HDMI 0. And we're also specifying that it is the primary display. Now, you don't have to do this part, but you might find it helpful if you use one display more often than any other one to have it set as your primary one. And then we define the DVI D0 display and we set the option to have it be left of HDMI 0. And then we do the same thing with DisplayPort 1, except of course that's going to be right of HDMI 0. So once you have all of this configured, go ahead and save it. And uh, of course, restart your Xorg. And now you should have everything configured. All of your monitors are going to be in place and they will always be in place whenever you start X. Now you can watch three Mental Outlaw videos at once. The best reason for running three displays.